Yo guys, Cryption Gaming Jake here. As many of you know, but maybe some of you don't know, my main Warwick account, Jake Level93, recently got permanently banned for hacking slash cheating. And a lot of people are wondering, did I really hack? Did Jake finally get exposed after hacking all this time? <laughs> well, in this video, I'm gonna set the record straight and just explain to you guys how I got banned. Uh, there's going to be a lot of information to take in on this video, so just pay attention and I'm going to explain everything crystal clear to you guys from the beginning. But just quickly, I want to say that the reason it's taken me two weeks to upload this video is because one, I've been busy with work and two, I've had to do some research to figure out why I was banned. I was banned by EAC, aka Easy Anti-Cheat. Papaya pays Easy Anti-Cheat to detect cheaters in their game and ban them. Now, Easy Anti Cheat has a list of blacklisted programs where, if you run that program while Warwick is running at the same time, EAC will make a log out of that and you are basically fucked. So, what happened was, I checked my Warwick account on the 28th of November 2017 and I was banned. So, I submitted a ticket to Papaya Play asking why I was banned. Papaya replied that I was automatically banned by EAC and that I should contact them for further details. So, I contacted EAC asking them why I was banned and asking for further details. So it took them one whole week to reply, but eventually they said, we do not disclose information about detected cheats. There are detailed records for each EAC ban. However, releasing this information only benefits cheat developers. We investigated your account very thoroughly. Remember these two words, very thoroughly. Cheat software was used in Warwick from your account, Cryption Gaming, which is basically my user ID for Jake. The ban is permanent and cannot be removed. More information on our ban policy is available here. So I clicked on this link and it brought me to this page. And I found this, EAC bans are issued on a delay. When a cheat is detected, EAC issues a ban on the account for a future date. You do not need to be online at the time for this ban to take effect, which was important for me to know as if I think back just a few days ago before I was banned, I can have an idea about what program actually got me banned. So at this point I had no idea why I was banned. I had a couple of ideas and one of them that I went with actually came back quite positive. So I had a bit of an idea and it took me a while to figure it out but basically I guessed that this program on my PC called Clumsy got me banned. So what I basically did was for each program I would search them on you know, Google and search them in comparison with Warrock and see if there's anything there. So I searched Clumsy Warrock on Google and found, yeah, this clumsy tool can be used to actually make your character invisible on Warrock. Uh, and this guy shows it in his YouTube video and conveniently this video was uploaded on the 22nd of November 2017. Which was probably about a week before my ban, just to give a little extra note to keep in mind. So now let me just explain for you guys what Clumsy is and why I had it on my PC in the first place. Just bear with me while I get my whole point across. I'm a full-time software developer slash games developer, meaning that I earn a living from programming games. I also program games in my spare time and have been doing so since I was literally seven years old. So. Some of you may know this, and a lot of you from my live stream should know that I studied computer games programming in university, and that I create my own games. For example, in 2013 I uploaded my own game called Elite Combat Forces 2, and I even advertised it on this YouTube channel. For the past one and a half years I have been creating a 2D shooter game called Armed Conflict, so something that was involved with creating this game was doing my own netcoding. Netcoding is basically how players will see each other in game. Will they lag to each other? Will they warp to each other? Will they die behind a wall? There's a lot of different methods for doing your own netcoding. I could explain to you guys exactly how Warwick does their netcoding for updating the player's position and how they could improve their netcoding, but I guess I could save that for another video if anyone's interested. Now what Clumsy does is it simulates internet lag. So for example, I could give myself 100 ping, and that's exactly what I was doing with Clumsy. I was making myself lag on purpose in my own game to test and see what would happen if I would have a higher ping in my own game just to see my own netcoding and how it deals with, with these effects. I've had Clumsy on my PC for probably around 6-7 to seven months and I've never once thought about using it in Warrock. I mean, I knew it could be used in Warrock but like, I'm just not going to use it in Warrock because I might as well just use NetLimiter or something. But anyway, what you guys are probably asking is, why were you running Warwick and Clumsy at the same time, huh? 
Well, I do remember developing my game around the time that I was banned. Uh, I was using Clumsy to test the internet and giving it a little playtest on the game. And I guess I must have had a fair few programs open at the time and just forgot to close Clumsy. The thing about Clumsy is, is that it can filter specific incoming and outgoing network traffic. So in this little text box here, I can basically paste this code into effect my armed conflict game and my armed conflict game only as it will limit the incoming packets on port 6121, which is my game's port, and delay the inbound and outbound packets by, say, 100 milliseconds, effectively giving me 100 extra ping. Now, yeah, I agree, this is a problem. If someone did this on Warrock, they could definitely gain an advantage. I mean, this guy proved it, you can literally go invisible with this tool. But guys, have you ever seen me just purposely lag on Warrock and go invisible? And not only that, but I did a little test and if I delayed my internet on work by as little as 40 milliseconds, which would literally give me no advantage I swear, you would already see a change in my ping, and my ping has always been full 4 bars. So how do you explain that? So anyway, because EAC weren't going to disclose any details about why I was banned, I decided to submit a ban appeal and make a guess at why I was banned, seeing as how I'm like 99% sure that Clumsy can get you banned at this point. So I sent them a ticket saying this, basically telling them everything I just told you guys and they did not give a shit. I even copy pasted the same ticket to Papaya and talked to a few admins on their discord and they did not give a shit either. So that was it. I was 99% sure that Clumsy got me banned but had no way to prove it. Until I had an idea. What if I created a test work account, ran Clumsy on it without even touching the settings and left it alone for about 30 minutes, log out and log back in in like a, let's say one week's time and see if I get banned. Well, that's exactly what I did. I have two computers and decided to do the test on my second computer, which is a lot cleaner. I created two fresh work accounts and recorded my second computer monitor with a webcam. The link to this boring video can be shown on screen now, but it proves that I did absolutely nothing wrong if you sit through and watch the whole thing. I'll also put the video link in the description. The video showed myself turning my computer on, showing my task manager, and logging into these two fresh accounts for the first time. The first account had Clumsy running on it with none of the settings changed and Clumsy not giving me any form of, adva of advantage for about 30 minutes, just to give EAC a chance to detect Clumsy. And for the second account, I didn't run Clumsy and did the exact same thing. In fact, I s stayed logged in for around th 40 minutes, just to be sure. And what would you know, one week later the first account is now permanently banned. and the second account is not banned at all. And I can guarantee you guys that if I submit a ticket to EAC asking why my first test account was banned, they would say the exact same thing. Hey there, Warwick Trooper, we investigated your account very thoroughly. So yeah, I'm going to submit that ticket right now and I'll let you guys know what their response is, maybe in a follow-up video. Very thoroughly, my ass. Your anti-cheat system simply has a list of allowed programs and bans them permanently as soon as they run something on their computer. I mean, come on guys, like, <laughs> I mean, come on, this is a huge pain in the ass for people like me. Software developers who have to think twice about doing their job or doing their work or doing their hobby, which is programming, while playing Warrock. Like, think about it. Clumsy is a tool to simulate internet lag for, I guess you could use it for what any purpose you want, and it can definitely be used in a software development purpose. And the fact that it gets you banned in Warrock is just... Ugh. Well, I hope now that you guys get the picture, and if you want to support me and maybe trying to get my account unbanned, then you can vote in the poll in the description if you think I should get unbanned and if you believe my story. And honestly guys, if you want to test that clumsy thing for yourself, just make sure you create a new account, 
open clumsy, don't touch any of the settings and just leave it there for like 30 minutes and you will get banned in 3 to 7 days. And yeah, that's the only way I can get you guys to believe my story is if you try it yourself. Sad but true. Well, thanks for watching guys. Just so you know, if my work account does not get unbanned, I will not be making any more work videos ever again. I will not be playing work ever again. And if I do get unbanned, then sure, I'll continue making work videos for you guys more frequently. I was actually planning on doing some Twitch live streams now that I've finally got some time over Christmas. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and peace out.